I'm back. So, as you guys can tell, it's the next day and, you know, I have different clothes on. Um, I had to stop that video because, <clears throat> number one, I had things to do. <clears throat> Uranus and Taurus. Also, Uranus and Taurus will kind of want to get you out of your mat material comfort. So, <clears throat> yeah, so just be expecting that. Um, basically, it's going to want you to level up in your, like, material, um, your finances. And also, people are going to ask you to give up some of your finances or maybe some, you know, you never know what the situation is. Um, also, it says a lot of people are going to be investing in themselves, um, more or in their businesses. A lot of people are going to be pampering themselves with the money that they be getting. Um, pampering self. Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of people are going to be pampering themselves, like, buying. Kind of buying what they want. Buying more so what they want and stuff. And also, um, I feel like if. Yeah, but anyways. Moving along to Neptune. Neptune is going to be in Pisces. So Neptune stations direct in Pisces at Friday, November 21st, 2020. Um, Neptune has to do all about dreams, intuition, mysticism, and just imagination and delusions. Delusions. But um, basically... By Neptune being in Pisces, we're going to be highly intuitive. It's going to be highly intuitive. It's going to be like an, an intuitive time until November 27th. I mean, you're still going to have your intuition, but it's going to be more heightened during the times it, you know, it's in Neptune. And you're going to be probably imagining um, things more like kind of daydreaming about what you want to happen for the future or how things are going to plan out for the future or how things are going to go. You're going to be um, just have some spiritual imaginations and just be a little bit more. I think you might be diving um, a little bit more into spirituality and just becoming a better person and just strengthening strengthening your spirituality. Um, you are going to be feeling a little bit unorganized. You're going to be feeling a little bit unorganized and you're going to be feeling more sensitive. You're going to be feeling more gullible and things are going to just not really go as planned or as you thought um, was planned. You know, because shit is just hitting people left from right. And people are just like, whoa, where did this come from? Yeah, you know. Um, Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto stations direct in Capricorn on Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. So Pluto has to do with transformation, power, death, rebirth, and evolution. <clears throat> okay, so basically... That's basically going to be talking about just our power and our success. So we're going to be talking a lot, of, a, a lot more about which path we want to go to. We're going to talk about what is the right path for us. What is our life purpose? What is our soul mission? What is our dream? What is our goal? You know, trying to accomplish the goals and the um the dreams that you that you know you want to accomplish people are going to be very competitive and just wanting to look for a good result kind of like i it could be competitive in a bad way and it could be competitive in a good way um just kind of maybe if you're competing uh, like with your self and say okay because you can be competing with yourself and saying oh well you know, you may be doubting yourself low key and then, you know, something inside of you just says, oh, well, I'm going to, I'm, what if I can get at least maybe 10,000 by the end of um, the year and you actually challenge yourself to that and you're basically just competing with, so, um, <clears throat> so it could be something like that or it could be, um, just competing with others, kind of trying to be at the same level, um, 
as others, which could be a, a good and a bad thing because sometimes you can't, you know, just don't shit on others just to get to the top. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to be a little bit more intolerant now and um, just basically in intolerant of contrary views. So basically we're going to... Um, a lot of people, they're not going to be a little bit more threatened and um, just not really feeling like the way people are going. Like not agreeing with the things that you're doing or not agreeing with the things that you believe in or something like that. You know, so they're not, it's definitely going to be a lot of different views on like certain subjects and stuff. So we're going to want to work um, behind negative patterns and structures that we know that no longer work for us. It's kind of um, crumbling down our negative patterns that we see within ourselves. But in order to see it, we have to kind of sit with ourselves and kind of see what's wrong. We got to go within to see our flaws. So a lot of people are going to be, you know, um, these planets are going to be sitting your ass down. <laughs> so you can that's why everybody's in quarantine right well not but everything happens for a reason so you guys get where I'm getting at basically we're all sitting down to see where the fuck we have to like kind of do better at you know so also Chiron is gonna be in Aries Chiron stations direct in Aries on Tuesday Chiron, Chiron has to do with healing like your deepest wounds and stuff um so yeah, so basically, I don't know if I said it already, it stations direct on Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. So, um, Chiron is like the wounded healer, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to be um, healing, so we're going to be feeling called to confront feelings we've been pushing down instead of processing. So any feelings that you've been pushing down is going to be coming to the surface. Like I've, say, like I've been saying in my other readings, I feel like a lot of people have been holding their emotions in and not really expressing themselves or expressing their emotions or even trying to even connect with their emotions. So we're going to be forced to connect with our emotions and process emotions that we haven't processed before maybe if you haven't cried in a minute and something tragic happened to you before or something in your past happened before um a long time ago it could be 10 years it could be last year it could be five years ago it could be you know yesterday it could be whatever but um we're gonna be forced to sit with that so we can process it and kind of um, move forward from it and kind of forgive and leave it in the past basically all the tears emotions uncertainty um, insecurities that's going to be coming up this year and you know that's why you probably feel last year you probably didn't have as much as emotions or built up emotions as you had um, this year and it's been more challenging than it's been last year. Or maybe it hasn't. It doesn't. Only you know your story. Okay. Um, thank you for watching my channel. I mean thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get updated whenever I post. And yeah y'all. And that we're only going up from here. Um. Peace, love, and light, and I'll see y'all on my next video. Also, my next video will be a touch my body challenge, and then I have something else in store for you guys, so just get, just be on the lookout for that, okay? Peace. Hey, y'all, if y'all see, if, 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 if y'all, if y'all, you know what, bye.